Okay. Welcome to Soma Game Stream. I'm Emily, and right now I am making some windows. So it will go into this seam here. Yeah, so right now I am assigning different materials to the different parts. Um, so that I, it will be easier to texture this. This one will be frame three, no, four, how many do I have? Yeah, this one will be four, and I need to be two. Okay. That is good. Arch window. Now I'm going to take it into 3D coats. Sure, I'm gonna texture it a few different ways. Um, we'll start with the wood. So there is a preview. This one's wood boards, I think. I don't want that one too dark. That's better. And 50, 75. It's a better scale. Hey, Bob Jones. Welcome. Right now I'm working on a window. Not sure about this scale though, I might need it bigger. I kind of like it bigger. I don't remember how to make it transparent with the material. Is I think that's just in Unity, is that right? I think so, I think I just, yeah, I just texture it here and then... I, think you're right. I just want one that looks kind of like glass.
because this this piece here is going to be glass so and then this will be a frame around it so bumpy I think I like this one. I want the color a little lighter though. And that's bad. Maybe blue. It's kind of cool. Put this on glass. Did it do it? It's hard to tell. Doesn't really look like it. Hmm. Maybe if I make it a lot lighter, I'll be able to tell. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? Um, opacity's 100%. Maybe I need another layer. This is too big, get out of my face. Stop. I want the previous smaller. We'll just move it there. So yeah, this half here in the preview does not look like this half. Why? The eh. Maybe my light isn't on it or something. It still doesn't look like it has anything. Maybe it's not unwrapped, right? No, that's why. Ha! <laughs> I didn't unwrap it. Uh. That would be why. Yeah, if you're trying to texture something, it's kind of important to unwrap it. <laughs> Alright, now let's do this again. I unwrapped the whole thing and then added the glass after, so that's why I forgot. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Okay, now we can change the color to make it better. This is all too bright. Mm, 
is kind of a cool color. Come back. I want to make the highlights not gray. That's better. Okay, now there's this funny seam. Do you see that right in the center? Ah, it goes away when my mouse is over it. But it's because I had the glass mirrored, and so there's like an edge there that it's trying to highlight. So I'm gonna just turn off the highlight. not really highlighting anywhere else anyway. Okay, now the glass. Oops. You are not glass. Uh, I have to separate these again. Okay, let's try this again. Glass. What? Why did you... You're not glass. I guess we have to remove all these other ones. Did I get them all? I think so. Exports. That's what I have selected. And 3D kit. New. I think you can just replace the mesh that's in there, but I find it easier just to go through it this way. Starting up a new file. I am making a window, which you can see here, it will go into this scene. There's some windows here. Um, this is what we're working on right now. So when it plays. Um, yeah, so there's just some windows in the background. And they need some frames. So right now, that's what I am currently working on. It's a window frame.
why? Why are you doing this to me? Is there like a duplicate or something? It's so weird. You should only have a sign. That should work. Thanks, yeah, that fireplace is amazing. I think I didn't make it, but it's pretty awesome. Okay. No. You're not supposed to do that. Alright, let's try about object. Oh, I don't know what object this is. You. What is your name? Your name is Walls Inner 8. Okay. Walls Inner 8. What? That's crazy. That must be just a glitch. Oh, I bet it's on the UV. It's on top of it, yeah. That's why. So, how come this didn't show up when I placed it earlier? That's what I wanna know. All right. Scoot over. Should behave. Behave, I tell you. Hello. Um, let's see. The room is based on concept art and original design. Um, so we we have some of the concept art uh, from you know different artists in Redwall and stuff, and then we designed it a bit how we would want it. Um, so you can see here what it all looks like. Can make this bigger. Right now it's pretty empty because we're just showing off this one section. So, yeah. And then this will be the uh, scene that we're sh going to, to show eventually. It's what we're working on right now. And so then I'm just making the window that you can see back here. Window frame. work this time. Yay. Alright. Make the preview a little smaller. I think I will make this wood darker. Oops. <coughs> My 
mess with the color here a little bit. Make it a little more purple. Purple wood is kind of cool. It's a little pink. I'm changing this color right here. So it's just a little bit of a shadow. I don't really want it to be pink. Red's a little better. Uh, yeah, these textures are pretty much hand painted. Um, the way we apply them here isn't quite by hand, like we're not. Um, I mean, yeah, we're applying them in, in 3D coat, which is something that we didn't used to do. I think these are a little too pink. Yeah, so this texture Aaron actually hand painted. I think I want to do something a little different for the outer two. Maybe I'll use the other color to bright. I wonder if this one on the outside would look good. It's kind of interesting. And then this one for the base. Maybe. It's a very interesting option anyway. I think this texture is a little too pink though. a little more purple, which is cool. Let's try that. Okay. And so then we want that on frame one and frame two and 
frame four. It's pretty interesting. I'm not certain how much I like it, but. I will save it as an option. This one I want to do is stone, I think. I don't think I want to use this one. texture in here I want to use. I think that was it. I'll do the same thing as before on those and then make some color changes. Just a little darker would probably be fine. Just how much it's tiled though. No. Mm, is it better with more? There's actually a car alarm outside. I think I like this better.
it, I'm glad you think it looks better. Interesting. It's this side that's tight. I'm just trying to make this spot look a little better. That's interesting. Yeah, there's glass here, and um, in Unity, we'll make it transparent. Do frame three oh. and maybe base. No, I'm gonna leave base. Then make it darker again. Stop it. You could watch this all day, that's funny. did I do? Just made it too dark. Why is my cursor not changing? Stop it. You're misbehaving. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make this one a little lighter so that I can make the one, the other one a little darker. It's not much darker. Okay, then frame four. Uh, darker. It's interesting, I'm not sure how much I like it. But it is interesting. All right, we're gonna call it blaster. And then I'm going to try doing it the other way around. So frame four is the light one. And then that kind of looks nice as it is. Oh, I want my preview. Yeah, yeah, that's darker. 
and then frame one and frame two, and I think base. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I like that. <laughs> Let's save it anyway. And then I think I'm gonna save this one also. What else? Don't want fabric. Don't want leather. Probably not metal. That's horrible. That's ugly. Very ugly. Alright, no plastic, no rubber, rust, nah, back to wood. I'm gonna make it a very dark wood. And then probably also a very light wood. Whoa, not that dark. That's nice. This monitor of mine is also very dark. So, it's probably not that dark, <clears throat> but it looks very dark on mine. Maybe make it a little darker. I'm gonna make it all the same. Okay, and now I want to make it very light wood. Even lighter. Ooh, okay, did not mean to do that. <laughs> no, stop it. I can't move this, interesting. Interior decorating, yeah, basically. Because then it's like, oh, this might match the couch, so then you get something else to match the couch. I'm not matching the windows to the couch, though, because if you can see here, the couch is green. So, I'm not going to make green windows. I suppose we could always put a green tapestry on the wall. <coughs> Base. There we go. It's very nice. All 
Alright, now, which one of these should we... I want to bring one of them into... This is too dark now that I see it. Again. I don't like it as much. Let's make it a lot brighter. What color is this? This is this frame. Edit this one. Make it a bit brighter. Huh. Interesting, I'm not happy with this. That's better. This is frame three and the base. Okay, and then this one's the purple one. Make that a bit brighter. Whoa, it's very vibrant. That's better. Still very pink. Whoa, so pink. Ah. Why the pink? I want purple. No. A little more purple, but now it might be too light. Is it too light? Let's see. Wow. I think it's too light. We'll make this one darker. Okay. Alright, I get it. You want to be in my face. <coughs> Calm down. I just don't like this color. That's a little better. But now it's really purple. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll just have to go back to normal. Whoa, green wood. Um, normal wood. Uh, the textures are all saved, but I have to export them before I can try them. I'll do that in a minute. Alright, let's just try this on all of it. And then frame... I think we'll just save that one. Alright, so let's export these. Um, arch window. Metallic. Don't need height. Don't need emission. Those three should be fine. So now if we go to Unity. Where did I even say this? I think that's the right one. Let's put 
put it on here. So I don't think my window is correct here because I had forgotten to unwrap it earlier. And it should be though because I saved that. Yeah, so it should be right. Um, Why it isn't too transparent? So I think it should be transparent. <laughs> Let me grab a mouse and stick it behind the window. See the mouse, it's not transparent. Transparent. Interesting. I'll just have to fix that later. Yeah, so I made the actual window in Blender um, here, and then I moved to 3D Coat for the texturing here and then unity is where everything comes together so right now this is without lighting the lighting is very dark over here so anyway that's option one then this one This is wood too. Doesn't matter. This one is the other window. export some files I don't really need so I just usually delete those um, this is with three and you can see a lot better.
I see you. This one is interesting. I don't think I like it though. <laughs> Why am I even exporting it? It's ugly. This one is the best of those. Rename. There we go. Let's see what that one looks like. Oh, it just changes the outer frame, and that's it. Still pretty, pretty cool. And now we have which one? I know I had more than that. Open plaster, oh stone. That's right. Exports because I already have one. That's why I keep deleting that. Okay. A mix of them is almost cool, like that. see there's a high probability I don't know that I know much more than that but I'm pretty sure that there is a high probability um, stone there's only one stone I'm not talking to you <laughs> no I did not say your name I said stone is your name stone <laughs> you wish it was. Oops. Put that there. So that's a stone. And then we have, let's, let's look at these. Plaster one. Come back here. Now I'm talking to you, stone. <laughs> uh, so this one. Which is plaster one, which is ugly. And then we have a plaster two, which is also ugly. And then plaster three, which isn't too bad. And then wood one. The colors are a little better on that screen. And then with two, no wait, that's the same thing. <laughs> with two, which is very dark. And then with three, which is super light. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
Aaron likes plaster, three, or the wood. Which wood? I have three woods. I think the one that's... Actually, I don't know what he You don't know? Do you know what you like? You have to look at them again? Okay. Um, I'm gonna probably do a few more. What materials should I go for? Huh? Yeah, I'm still talking to you. <laughs> Um, what materials should I keep exploring? I don't know, maybe another what? Rock? Keep rock? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Thank you, chat room. You're very helpful. Sounds like you like the woods over the plaster or the stone. Could a mic for person number two, yeah. He's not streaming, I was just asking him some questions. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add another stone material. Um, this one. This is an interesting one. I think we're gonna tile it a bit more. Seventy-five. Maybe. <clears throat> I also want this one a lot darker, I think. Maybe a different color. Let's see. Whoa. I want to say that green is a cool color <laughs> there. Uh, I don't know that we want green, but I think it's a cool color. I want to do it just because. Maybe I will do this as just frame three and frame one and base. And then I'm gonna make it a little more gray. Interesting, but I think it's too busy. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Maybe a little lighter. Now, stop it. Misbehaving. Hello. It is Emily who's running the stream. Yeah, kind of limestone, and that's what I was thinking too. Let's see. Mm, two. A little lighter, maybe. Er. Stop it. Move, move. No. Okay, fine. 3D Coke keeps giving me attitude problems. 
Okay, so this is way too busy. So I think I'm gonna make another layer with a regular color. And just put it over top. Like a light, light color. Capacity 25. 50. Frame two. See, look at 3D coat jumping in my face like that. It's like, give me attention. Go away. Calm down. Seriously, though, it needs to cool it off. And that's a cool color, too. So, frame three and base uh faith drawn mm, is that michael right am i right <laughs> okay let's see how this looks that's better but i think the color might be a little too a little too light, or too, let's see, 75%. That's a little better. See, it's a little less busy, but it still isn't as in your face. Let's save that as stone 2. Alright, I'm going to get another stone texture. I saved it, but then unsaved it. Save it again. Come back. Come back. Okay, here we go. I wasn't sure after all this time. I know, I recognize it, but I just didn't want to be wrong. So this texture here was done by Jeremy, and this one I'm working on now was done by Aaron. <laughs> so, capacity back to 100. Um, so, let's see. Gonna play with this here. This looks like. Hmm, I think I like this. Oh, good job. Yeah, I haven't worked on textures much either. Um, I can apply them and that's about it right now anyway. Whoa, how'd I get into green? Um, okay. Red. Let's go for purple again just because the walls are pink so purple kind of looks cool with it I will want to see your sword that you made for sure okay so that's a that's a nice purple um I want frame three to be purple go away and base. Yeah, we use Blender. Frame four and one. I mean, this program isn't Blender though; it's three D code. So we use both of those. It's interesting, but I think the purple's a little too purple. Just want a slight hint. Okay. Er. 
It's still too purple, I think. to do. Let's try that. And base. That's not bad. Uh, why do you say you probably should learn Blender? I mean, if you learn Maya, that's totally fine. Well, I guess the, the only problem with Maya is that it has those, you know, like you have to pay if you're going to make any games with it, because, yeah, the, the student license is free, but not, not Maya itself. Not for making games. Stoon 2. And then... I didn't save the other one. I didn't save my limestone one! No! <laughs> Did I save it? Did I save over stone one? With my limestone? Nope, I didn't. Ah! Oh well, I think I still have the smart material. Yeah, I do. I did... Frame two... Yeah, license fees. Frame three. I don't remember where I put this. I think base and frame one as well. Frame one and base. And then I also used the overlay color thingy. This is stone three. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like the green one. I like that one too. We got it back. Okay, guys, well, that's all for this week. Um, next week, what is next week? Oh, next week we'll be playing GURPS, which is a role-playing game. It's so fun. It's pretty crazy, usually, what happens. Um, like, oh, we always, people get knocked unconscious, or like, I don't know, Jeremy tried to put lotion on a bat to fight it. It was, 
it, it was interesting. So, yeah. And last time I think we used him as like a meat shield. He was unconscious and he just was blocking everybody. It was great. Anyway, <laughs> so we'll be playing that next week and it was super fun. So, yeah. I will see you guys next week.